Well, you can see I'm pretty disgusted. So I thought this was gonna be an easy day. Turns out it wasn't. I'll tell you the story right after this. What is bright and early this morning? And I gotta tell you this story. So you can see it's still dark outside. Uh, yesterday was a fun day, but crazy. So first we're gonna start with some footage of just enjoying the beauty of the animals and then we'll get to something that's more fun. Pigs are done tilling this section. Done tilling this section. It looks amazing. We can't wait to get some corn in there. Claire Bell, Bell compared to new baby Layla. Bleh. Look at the size difference. So today was supposed to be a pretty easy day. So then when, when we also got the call from the guy who's helping build the back fence, he said, uh, I might be in a bind. Anytime you hear those words, it's almost dark. So we're thinking, uh, all right, so what, what's the situation? He said, I'm stuck and there's no way I'm getting out. I've been trying to get out for two hours now. I thought it was gonna be an easier day. We've got someone helping build fence and we are, completely stuck so we're unloading a backhoe to try to see if we can get this tractor out question is can we get it out So this thing, they're building, we're building fence on the back side of the pond. So let's kind of show you where we're at. We're on the back side of the pond. You see, this is a, what size, what size tractor is this? This is a 60 horse Kubota. And it has got 
it was dry it's been raining here but it stays pretty dry here other than this slough and it was dry up until this point right here <laughs> so you can see it let me see if i can turn you around it is down to the frame so the question is can this other two little kabotas pull out this big monster kabota I don't know. I hope we don't stick nothing else. So he said, we got to try something. We've got to do something to try to get this tractor out. Well, we don't have a strap long enough to hook one tractor to, much less two. So now we just have to rig it. So this is rigging it. So you see the excavator is closer and the excavator can easily move but it's it's so soft where the excavator is it cannot grab and pull to get the tractor moving any because it's got starting to get bogged down so that's when i brought the other tractor in Now we're in a place where, okay, we've got two straps hooked to two tractors. And what we're doing is each trying to use our teeth to our, our backhoe and our track hoe to get leverage to pull this tractor out. Now I had to literally put the backhoe bucket against a tree so that way I wasn't sliding in because what it was doing was kind of pulling us all the way down into this slough because it was just wet from 100 foot out. So the more we pull, the more we sink. So now we're thinking, oh, what's our next plan? As much as you can give. So we budged it a little bit, budged it just a tad, but couldn't get out. And remember, now it's supposed to flood here. March and, and April are notorious for bad weather here in Mississippi. So he said, I gotta get this tractor out. If we don't get this tractor out, we won't get it out for weeks. And he's not from this area. He's he's about an hour away from us. So he was thinking, what are we gonna do? This dude on Facebook and I've never, have you ever thought about So then we get a call and the guy says, look, wrap your tire with a chain or what you're pulling with. So in this case, we had a strap. He said, wrap it around your tire to where it goes around the lug, the actual tire itself, and, and gets caught in the grips of the tire. Back it up, and what it's gonna do, it's gonna pull what's hook, what it's hooked to, which we hooked it to a tree, we took it off the tractor, put it on the tree, and it will literally pull itself out. Now, I've never thought of that, and that's brilliant. But will it work? Yeah, man. I bet I ain't coming back in here. <laughs> Alright, so he's wrapping around here and it's pulling its own tension over the wheel. It was stuck. Alright, he's wrapped it around right in the center. And so what we're gonna try to do is let it pull tension and let it wrap around the tire. See if we can get this bad boy out. So we're having to rotate them, one side, then one side, and it's pop. It was a nail biter. Popping off, so we gotta see if we can keep it straight. Look at it walking out. Look at it. So he starts doing it. The only danger of doing this is, hey, you could flip your, you could easily flip your tractor here because what you're doing is you're pulling and you're pulling from one side and you really could get yourself in a bind. You could pop the strap. You could slap somebody on the head. It could really mess you up, or you could flip it, or you could get unstuck. All right, so you see we got mud all over. All right, it just released. So every time it releases, we change it over. Pull the strap back. Let me see if I can move it. Let's see if he can get on Look how deep it is. I'm trying to leave fence across here. All right, back to the backhoe. Now we can try to pull them out. 
This is crazy. We have gotten this thing. It is stuck in the slough down here. We're gonna see if we can get him out now. That was pretty cool to walk it with its own tire with the ratchet strap. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Boom, it released. So the cool thing is I've never seen this done. But by wrapping the middle, making sure your strap or your chain is in the middle of your tire to then turn around and rotate it backwards. What we then did was go side to side and pull this tire out and then pull the next tire out. And we realized to get a tractor unstuck, all you need is a strap and a good tree. And boom, it's out.